In honor of Women's History Month, I'm going to spotlight somebody well, I know quite well, me. I have been a journalist for a number of years, and a lot of times I've had to be the person who booked the guests, who wrote the story, who interviewed the guests, put the crew together, floor directing while I'm sitting in the chair. I've done it all. This particular time, I was interviewing Bishop T.D. Jakes when he was talking about his book, Soar. You know, he spent a lot of time on the New York Times bestselling list. This time was no different. Take a look. Hey. Oh, you do I need to move or you yeah. good? Okay. J-A-C-Q? J-A-Q-U-I-T-T-A. Okay. Capital Q. Okay, comment. Is that you? <laughs> yeah. I probably would bomb if I was in front of I had to like actually do it, do it. I bet you would. I don't know. Uh, I thought that the Charlemagne uh, interview was really, really Let's make sure no flash during the actual interview. Oh, yeah. yeah. In honor to address. To be written. Can we close that door? It made you want to write sore. You know, there are a lot of reasons. Uh, as a spiritual. What the average earning wage is today. So entrepreneurship to me is a very profound solution to those issues and it really fits. Well, shut it all the way down and yeah. start it up again. Start it over again. <laughs> you, you know, yes, that kind of thing. Yes. Being in debt yes. and no good job, yes. they're disappointed. So entrepreneurship becomes a catalyst through which you can become the job that you expected to get. Well, that is a system that we can't get in. And I realize that we are the people that we've been waiting on. If you want to see more stories like this, don't forget to follow me.